is a board game cafe. We've got over a thousand games. It's sort of a hybrid restaurant and a place to engage in activities. Um, what makes us a little bit different than some other places that have a large collection of board games is that um, on the weekends we have a dedicated game master and his only job is to walk around and um, try and help you pick out a game and if you like he can walk you through the game, uh, recommend new games. So it just, it, it takes some of the uh, stress out of um, some of the sometimes overwhelming task of picking out a, picking out a game. You come in, you eat, you drink. We have beer and uh, wine selections. You pay $5 a person for unlimited access to our game library. So the library is open. To, um, you don't have to check out the game or ask anyone to grab it. You just peruse or you ask for a recommendation and you grab whatever looks good to you and stay as long as you like. Sometimes we have patrons who stay, honestly, eight hours an entire Sunday. We have a really wide range of games. So while we do have um, all of the heavy strategy games and we update those games um, periodically, we really like to um, keep up on the newer, easy to learn, light strategy type games so that we can appeal to a wide range of people. We have some games we can teach in 30 seconds or there's a rule book you could look at if you prefer. So there's there really is something for everyone. We have. Um, uh, light fair. We have toasted sandwiches. We have a delicious array of paninis. Um, we have uh, gourmet comfort sides. Uh, the customer favorite is our smoked gouda mac and cheese. As for our drinks, that changes a lot. I think that is a um, one of the customer's favorite aspects of tabletop. We have wine smoothies, and then every month we feature a different shake. For a while, we've been doing cereal shakes and all of our shakes you can get spiked. I think Tabletop, we don't have Wi-Fi here. It's one of the few places where you can come in and unplug and disconnect from the outside world so that you can really connect with who you've come in with. And while technology is, is great, um, you know, I have my smartphone, I check my email all the time, sometimes it's nice to just have a place where you can go to um, get away and and really spend some time talking to your friends, coworkers, loved ones, one on one. And the games, they take the pressure off of you, which is why tabletop's great for first dates. Board games are great for first dates. It gives you something to engage in together, so you don't have that pressure, you don't have the awkward silences. So some people come in and, and they want to play, but their friends aren't really interested in board games. So we have little signs that say, um, happy to join. So if there's a group that's playing a game and it could accommodate one more person, they'll see that sign and they'll know they can invite them to join. We get emails from people just telling us what a great time we had here. We've had first dates here that have ended in uh, proposals and um, we had a wedding here one time, so it's, it's not just a job for us.